Hey YouTube family, it's your girl Cindy. Welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I break down relationship dynamics in real life and on TV. Check out my playlist in the description after this video. If you are new to my channel, welcome and thank you for joining me today. In this video, I will be discussing three types of relationships to determine if you are with your forever partner. So be sure to like this video, subscribe and click that notification bell. So I came across this meme on social media indicating that men use women as placeholders until they reach a certain status. And I just knew I had to do a video about this topic. I believe men and women do it. Now, there are many types of romantic relationships. We have short term, long term marriage, which is supposed to be the ultimate commitment, but that can end in divorce. And then there's friends with benefits or situationships, as many of us are calling them these days, where you're together, but not really together, basically playing the role of being in a relationship without the title to avoid accountability. Are you wondering where you stand in your relationship? It's important to ask yourself, what is it that you want in a relationship? Many people are not intentional when dating. The next thing you know, months or even years go by and a quote unquote couple is in limbo about their status. I want to talk about three types of relationships in this video, the rebound, the placeholder, and the transitional to help you pinpoint where you stand with your partner. A rebound relationship usually happens very quickly after a breakup. The concept of a rebound relationship generally arises from the emotional insecurity triggered in a person after a painful breakup. People tend to have the need to distract themselves from the hurt, so they jump into a quote-unquote new relationship, but they're not really ready for a new relationship because they haven't processed or even healed from their previous relationship. Many people jump from relationship to relationship to avoid dealing with their hurt feelings, which is not healthy at all. Now let's talk about placeholding. This happens when two people are dating. One of them is committed to the relationship while the other is still waiting for their quote unquote, one to come along. In placeholding relationships, you are there for your partner and you do all the things you normally do in a relationship, but you're only there until the person they really want comes around. You can date for a really long time, but your partner knows that you're not their special person. So the relationship will end sooner or later. We are partially responsible for what happens to us because we sometimes allow others to use us. Then we don't take accountability for ignoring red flags. People will be straightforward and tell us how they really feel or people will show their real intentions with their actions. They say things like they don't want a serious relationship or they don't believe in marriage. Many times us women, we think we can change a man, but it is important for us to be honest with ourselves and with the situation that is being presented in front of us. We need to pay attention to the red flags and not be so in love with the idea of um, potential or wanting the person to be your person that we lose ourselves in the situation that we're in. Let's move on to a transitional relationship. These types of relationships are usually the first significant relationship that comes after a long-term relationship or marriage. They help you find your footing after a difficult breakup. A healthy transitional relationship will provide comfort and encourage you to grow as a person. Sometimes when you are in a long-term relationship or marriage, you get stuck in your ways and being in a transitional relationship will help you to um, break down some of the walls and discover some things that you can do better in your next relationship. It's not necessarily your forever relationship, but it is a relationship that's going to help you to become a better version of yourself and be healthier and stronger for your lifelong partner. If you are worried you might be a rebound or a placeholder, it's time to really look into your situation. Getting involved in a romantic relationship requires taking risks. We usually hope our relationships will last, 
but we can't predict whether or not they actually will. However, there are some signs that can tell you how serious your partner is about your relationship. If your partner makes it clear they don't want anything serious, believe them. If they only date you when it's convenient for them, pay attention because that is a red flag. And if your partner doesn't introduce you to important people in their lives, chances are your relationship, well, situationship is probably not on track for the long haul. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Is there anything you would like to add to this conversation? Put your thoughts in the comments below. And if you have any questions for me or suggestions for future videos, put those in the comments as well. I hope this video was helpful and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.